So come along with me as I visit the small town of Bridgeport, Alabama and visit the walking bridge that goes across the Tennessee River. This walking bridge used to be a train track that has been converted. You have two choices. You can park here at the depot or you can drive just a little bit further down the street for a much shorter walk. So come along with me and I'll show you the bridge and where to park and if you want to do a longer walk you can certainly park here uh, but if not just drive down by the park down by the river and you'll see where we go from here. May 23rd, 1838, the deadline for the Cherokee to move west to Oklahoma. General Winfield Scott was sent into Alabama, Tennessee, and Georgia to round up the Cherokee and place them in stockades near what is now Chattanooga, Tennessee, and Fort Payne, Alabama. In June of 1838, about 5,000 Cherokee were removed from Ross, Ross's Landing, Tennessee, down the Tennessee River on flatboats and passed under where this bridge is now located. They would be forced on a steamboat and travel to the Ohio River, then go down the Mississippi River, then head west on the Arkansas River to a reservation in Oklahoma. Then when the Tennessee River got so low, June 17, 1838, a detachment of 1,070 Indians left Ross's Landing and marched overland right near this bridge and followed closely to what is now U.S. Highway 72. The group rebelled and refused to move and about 300 escaped near Woodville. U.S. Captain Gus Drain was sent in to move them to Waterloo where they arrived in despicable condition. There were many escapes, births, and deaths on these removals and this is why many people in Alabama have Indian heritage today. This bridge was burned by the Union Army twice during the Civil War in the 1860s and rebuilt and used for train travel until 1998. A new bridge was built and this walking bridge was donated to the town of Bridgeport, Alabama. Bridgeport received a grant from CSX and the DOT to restore and make it into a pedestrian bridge. Many thanks to the participants in the Trail of Tears commemorative motorcycle ride. This will be their 29th year this year. So let's go for a walk on the bridge. We're going to walk across the Tennessee River. The trains still come on that track. If I had to guess, I'd say it's about 60 feet down, maybe. Let's 
looks like it ends in a tunnel down there. We'll go find out though. I think this is like a an island here in the Tennessee River and it looks like the railroad track is going to continue to go on the left side but it looks like the trail ends down here at this building so we'll go see. Do a 360. See how far I've come. Ooh, that's a beautiful view. Except for that industrial stuff over there, whatever that is. It's kind of loud. Be cool if a train came by while you're walking across the bridge. There was one that was going by as I first got here, but I missed it. So, yep, it's going to end here at this little building. It's got a little bit of shade and a bench. I'll get a little closer so everybody can see. Well, it looks like some people have kind of vandalized it, sadly. Um, but this is where the trail ends for most people. It does look like some people go this way. Hmm. Of course I can't resist. Let's see what everybody's going to look at. Oh, just the railroad tracks. It's probably where everybody comes back here and pees. They walk across the bridge and have to pee. <laughs> There's the railroad track. Bunch of trash, sad. And now we're gonna walk back across the bridge. So if you're familiar with uh, the Bridgeport and South Pittsburgh, Tennessee areas, it's, they're both right here at the state line. Um, this ridge right here, that is actually what is called Lodge Point. Um, if you don't know, Lodge Manufacturing is based out of South Pittsburgh, Tennessee. They have been making cast iron right there in South Pittsburgh for 126 years. So right over there, again, is the town of South Pittsburgh. If you're ever in this area, it's, uh, stop and check out the Lodge store. They have a factory store there. It's definitely worth the visit. You can get some factory seconds, some really great deals on some cast iron over there. Still pretty windy out here. Just finishing my walk across the bridge. And came from back there. Such a beautiful view, definitely worth checking out, especially if you have an interest in um, trains or just the Tennessee River. It's so beautiful out here. I feel fortunate to live so close.
Well, and there you have it, folks. The pedestrian walking bridge here in Bridgeport, Alabama. It's a part of the official Trail of Tears. You can walk all the way across the Tennessee River on this bridge. So you have a couple of options when you come here. You can park at the um, Bridgeport Depot Museum and it's about a two mile round trip hike from the Depot Museum. Uh, I opted not to do that because it's a little warm today. So I came down here to the end of the street and parked in this parking area over here that cuts off about half of the walk. So you don't have to park at the um, Depot Museum and do the walking trail from there. You can park right over here. Um, it says it's the trailhead for Rivermont Cave Historic Trail. That's what that sign over there says. But then this is says it's the... Um, here, we'll just get over there to it. the historic Bridgeport walking trail. So if you walk from the Depot Museum, you'll come out through here, cross this parking lot, and then over to the bridge over there. Uh, but you don't have to, to do all that extra walking if you don't want to. So this sign over here says it's the trailhead for the Rivermont Cave Historic Trail.